is citizenship? Citizenship is the status of being a citizen along with the rights, duties, and privileges of a being citizen. National and nationality. National is defined as a person who owes allegiance and it is entitled to the protection of a given state regardless of the status under domestic law. And nationality is a state of being of a nation whether by birth or naturalization or ties of a specific nation. General ways of acquiring citizenship. Involuntary method and voluntary method are the two general ways of acquiring citizenship. Change of sovereignty which results in the acquisition by each individual of the ceded or acquired territory of the citizenship under the new sovereign in absence of treaty stipulation to the contrary is an example of acquiring. Principles governing citizenship by birth. What is true soil? It's a Latin term that means law of the soil. Many countries follow the system of true soil, or more commonly known as birthright citizenship. Just soil is the most common means a person acquires citizenship of a nation. Another system called true sanguinis is when a person acquires citizenship through their parents' ancestors. What are different kinds of citizens under the Constitution? Number one, natural born citizens, number two, citizens at the time of the adoption of this constitution, number three, those who elect Philippine citizenship upon reaching the age of reason, number, two, number four, those who are naturalization in accordance with what is naturalization? It's the legal act of adapting a foreigner into the political body of the state and clothing him with the rights and privileges of a citizen. A person may be naturalized either by complying with both the substantive and procedural requirements of a general naturalization law or he may be naturalized by a special act of the legislature. Hi, I'm Yula Mizel V. Boncales, 12 Humes, and I will be sharing with you the important details of Active Citizenship, Quarter 2, Module 2, Lesson 2. Active citizenship is a concept that covers both rights and responsibilities of citizens. The core values of active citizenship includes participation and belonging to a caring community. Examples of active citizenship Petitioning, protesting, campaigning, voting, volunteering, and participation in the democratic process. Any action that promotes and sustains democracy is at the core of active citizenship. Important note, partisan is a campaigning for a political party, while nonpartisan is a campaigning to get out and vote. So let's talk about volunteerism. Volunteerism is an act of human solidarity, of empowerment, and of active citizenship. Also, it is a basic expression of human relationships. When Craig Kilberger was 12, he read a newspaper article about the murder of Iqbal Masi, a 12-year-old Pakistani who had campaigned against child labor after having been enslaved himself. Fueled by a desire to address this injustice, Kilberger and his brother Mark went on to found We Charity, formerly Free the Children. To, edu to educate and mobilize youth around the world. So these are the dimensions of active citizenship. First is protest and social change. Protest activities, they have sign signing a petition, taking part in lawful demonstration, demonstration boycotting products and ethical consumption and contracting a pollution. Human rights, trade unions, and environmental organizations, they have membership, particip participation activities, donating ma money, and voluntary work. Number two, community life, religious life. They have membership, participation activities, donating money and voluntary work they, they are the same uh, 
with business, cultural, social, sport, and parent teacher or parent teacher organization. They also have unorganized unorganized help. Lastly, number three, representative democracy. Engagement in political parties. They have membership, participation, donating money, or voluntary work for political parties. Voter turnout. Voting the national and local elections. And participation of women in political life. Percentage of women in national part parliaments. So that's all the dimensions of active citizenship.